I'm Bridget. It's Thursday, March 29th, and this is another episode of TV Squad Daily. And my voice sounds weird because apparently I brought some exotic virus with me back from vacation. When I was there, I made friends with this little monkey on the beach. Maybe it was a bad idea. Anyway, we're getting closer to next month's premiere of The Real Wedding Crashers, the TV series. It's basically the wedding version of punk. What surprises me is that so many couples were willing to turn their wedding into a big practical joke on their guests. 25,000 couples responded to the ad. The executive producer of Real Wedding Crashers said the show appealed to couples who wanted to do something they would remember for the rest of their lives. Isn't getting married pretty memorable? But in order to make their special day special, er, they're having things like a team of fake U.S. Marshals hunting down a criminal at their wedding reception. Your guests will always remember that yours was a wedding where they feared for their lives. Other pranks they're doing, things like purposely double booking the chapel, having the guy performing the ceremony take a cell phone call during their vows. I guess you get one shot at having the happiest day of your life. For them, vows, schmaus, the happiest day is if they get on TV. It's also comforting to know the intelligent minds in our world are working on what's important. A computer engineer has developed software you can download to your computer that uses your phone line and computer modem to give you a good idea of who's going to win the next round of American Idol. It's a smart idea. The software speed dials numbers and uses how many busy signals it gets for each contestant to figure out who's going to win. It works for American Idol and also other call-in boat shows like Dancing with the Stars and Celebrity Duets. The creator of this software at dialidle.com said he was just happy if he could put a smile on some people's faces. Hmm. His website got about a million hits last week. I'm sure he's not too upset about the ad revenue either. So far, Dial Idol's accuracy stands at about 87%, which is good, but not so good that you don't also still have to watch the results show. And Lost was on again last night. Stop listening if you don't want to hear about last night's episode. I am getting more and more intrigued by Sawyer. And no, not just because he keeps taking his shirt off. He's a really fast reader. He was just starting Fountainhead a couple days ago their time. That book has 752 pages. Now he's already on to an Agatha Christie murder novel. And why isn't the island healing his eyesight? I think the producers just don't want to stop showing him in his little taped up glasses. Aw. And Vincent the dog is continuing to be the smartest character on the island. He uncovered the people that weren't dead, and now I'll be a huge fan if he can manage to save Paolo and just leave Nikki in there. I'm sorry, Nikki, but my pity for you ends when you throw a spider at someone's jugular. You can just stay buried. But Locke did say all eerily, nothing stays buried on this island. And he said it back when he was all wise, not confused and sneaky like he is now. So I bet at least one of them lives. Thanks for watching, I'm Bridget, and I'll see you tomorrow here on TVSquad.com.